Hey, hello to all. Welcome to Global Offensive Hacker Associate Community. In this section, we are going to learn about host header injection. We will going to understand like what exactly is a host header, how to identify this vulnerability, and how we can exploit the vulnerability. So as usual, okay, like whenever I record a video, I always try, okay, like you should also replicate the same thing, in, okay, your environment. So let's begin. So here is basically our topic host validation bypass via connection easter attack. So maybe I think this word may be new to you. Okay, so I'm going to show you full practically like how we can detect the vulnerability and how we can exploit it. So let's get started. So first you can go uh, to the port trigger website and you can access okay, this particular lab. Okay, and you can see from this button you can access this particular lab and you can copy this particular link and you can use okay, in your favorite browser. So in my case I'm going to use Burp Professional. Okay, and I'm going to use same browser. Okay, so you can simply go to the start burp. In this case, simple. Okay, you can go to the proxy area, and you can go to the open browser, and you can see clearly this is basically the application, right? Host validation bypass. So in this case, okay, we have option called my account, and what is our task? So our task, okay, basically is to delete the particular user called Carlos, and we need to access the admin panel. Which is located at 192.168.0.1 slash admin. Okay, this is our task, this is our goal. So let's go uh, to the burp. This is the burp suite. Okay, you can simply intercept on it and you refresh this particular page. You will see that cookie and everything will come here, right? You can see this is the get, this is the host cookie, and so on. Always remember, okay, when you are performing a replication penetration testing. Each and every request is important to us and each and every response is important to us. Plus, don't forget the header. Header is very, very important Okay, for application penetration testing. And exactly we are learning host header injection, right? So you can simply right click, send to repeater and you can simply intercept off it. So when you off the intercept, you can see this part Okay, look as it is. And here okay, you can see this is the repeater tab is highlighted. In order to detect host header vulnerability, what you can do is Again, analyze this particular header. You can see we have a get request, we have a host header here, and we have a cookies, and we can see further other information are available here. So what you can do? So you can see in this particular host header because we are in performing injection. So I can simply you know change this part and right click, and you can see the option we have called insert collaborator payload. So when you send okay collaborator payload and don't add any HTTP URL here, okay? Only the header the collaborator part okay don't add any http dot colon uh, http colon double slash don't add it here okay uh, what i'm talking about is don't do this mistake okay because the, we are injecting inside this host header so simple remove it and you can simple send this one and here you go you can see we got the response and you can simple go to the collaborator you can simple go to the poll now and you can see we got the interaction by the way right so it confirmed that okay like the vulnerability exists so this particular endpoint is vulnerable for host headers now further how to exploit it so generally what we can do here is we can simple you know copy this part and we can type here ssrf now server side request forgery so this is the ip address as mentioned already okay on the lab environment and this is the part i'm trying to access the admin area okay from this one host 192.1.0.1 slash admin basically this is the request and when you send the request let's see what will happen and here you can go and you can see as i mentioned each and every request is important and each and every response is important so if you see this particular response you can clearly see that okay this is redirecting okay again uh, to the location basically home page so this is okay your home page so example if you verify this page and this link is equally same okay you can see that h1 web security academy dot net here you can see h1 web security academy dot net fantastic so on our first finding okay we identify when you change this part and you will see the response basically redirect okay to the slash part it means home page now further how to exploit further this thing right so in this case because our topic is connection is still attack so what i will do here is i will go to the burp i can simple right click okay and send to repeater and why I am doing this because I want to duplicate the request. So this is the best way to duplicate the request. Simple send to repeater and you can see repeater tab highlighted and the request is duplicated. Okay. So now in the 
Tab number two, I'm you know adding the same thing. Here. I'm not changing anything. I'm using the same thing whatever I did here. Okay. So you can see we have admin, we have the panel, and we can see the cookie and all the informations are available here. Fantastic. Now go to the number one. This is the tab number one. Here, what I will do is I will basically you know play with these two tab together. So how we can basically do that? Simple. You can simple click on the plus button, and you can see clearly we have an option called create a tab group. When you click on the tab group, you can see what name okay you want to give. So I am basically selecting by default and selecting number one and number two. I want to add in a group and I want to change the color that is basically red and create it. So once you create it, after that okay you can see we have a number two tab which is the admin whatever we added here previously. Second we have a number one tab. Okay here I want to you know redirect okay to the home page. So you can see this is a slash and this part okay I need to change to this. Particular request like the home, right? So copy this and you can paste here. Okay, this is a basically you know new thing by the way. So just please see properly how I'm going to solve this particular lab. So you can see clearly this is the host. Okay, the the same request whatever is available here, and I already created the group. So you can see clearly we have another request basically admin and this one. So how to send this request? So as you can see, don't do this this one. Okay, don't directly click on send button. What I will do is I will simply click here and I will go to the send group in sequence single connection. That's how we can do that. I will take basically another session on this. What do you mean by send group in single connection? Just for this lab purpose. Okay, like I am going to use this option. Okay, send group single connection. Even okay, if you go to the Burp website, okay, you can see clearly we have option called browser power desync attack. A new frontier in HTTP request smuggling. So maybe if you are new to web application penetration testing, no need to worry. We will be going to record okay like a different different video on the same topic. Okay, it means this topic. I'm going to record shortly and I'm going to upload soon this part. Now again, if you go to that burp area and here you can see clearly we have a get request. We have the host parameter and everything, and you can see here we have a connection closed. So I want to change this part okay to keep alive. So session will be alive, okay. And I think I don't need to change any other basically request. So you can simple go ahead and you can simple send the this particular request. Send group single connection. So everything is okay. And now when you try to access, you can see right now I don't have any responses here. Okay. The moment when I click on this button, and here you go. You can see we got the responses. If I go to second number, you can see I'm able to access the admin portal. You can see this is the admin portal. Okay, so I got the admin access. How you can check? You can simply go to the admin area, and you can see this is the admin. So if you analyze the source code, okay, we have a CSRF token. We have a, a post parameter here. You can see this is a post parameter, and we have a admin and delete option is available, right? So how we can play with this request now? So you can see we have a CSRF, and this is a post request. So what I can do is, I can uh, change this request with the help of you know. I can simply try to change this part to post, and this part okay. I'll try to post admin delete, okay? Because here you can see clearly this is the request admin slash delete, and this is the host. Cookie remains same, and I want to delete this area basically. I don't want it. Uh, make simple everything. You can see, remove everything. We don't want it. Connection also we don't want it, and here. Now what else we can add here? Okay, so we can add basically uh, content length. Okay, so I already added. Okay, so you know some points here. Okay, you can use it. So we want content type and content length. So I can simply go to this area and I can simply paste this one. So content type is basically x www form URL encoded and content length. Okay, you can specify anything here. Correct and CSRF token. So CSRF token is here. You can copy from this area. You can copy it and you can simply go to This area, right? And paste the CSRF token. You can verify the token with this is T, ending with MHT, ending with MHT. Username is Carlos. So we need to delete the user. Okay, that is basically our main goal. Okay, for this particular lab. So I hope everything is correct. And this is the post parameter. Okay, and now you want to send a request. You can see, well, go to the number one tab and you can try to send the request like this. And here you go. You can clearly see that. Okay, like this part. we got the request okay but you can see we got here okay found right 55 same origin but in this case okay you can see clearly the lab is not solved 
see that so what you can do is you can simply go to the number two tab you can right click change request method change to get again you can right click change request method to post okay this how you can change it and you can simply go to the number one single connection and might be now is solve the lab you can see that that's how you solve the lab and this is completely new concept by the way i hope you enjoy this particular video and that's how okay we solve the lab it's called host validation bypass via connection state attack also like if you want to learn like everything on live application if you want to penetrate the live application you want to hack the live application you want to audit the particular organization web application so you can please check this particular program called advanced web application penetration testing so in this particular program we'll take the live endpoint we'll take the live application we'll try to exploit okay the live applications and even in many many application in past basically many many application i have hacked it and the same poc is already available okay on my video portal so here you can see that this is a member portal and you will get all my uh, awpt poc whatever i hacked it uh, like private videos will be available okay under this area which is here awc awpt poc videos so here okay you will see all the videos okay regarding the live application so like bank details and many many things i have done it in past so i hope you enjoy this particular video and have a great day have a lovely weekend and see you in the next coming session